Hello guys, it's Alex the Xander, also known as Jake the Dog, also known as Alessandra. And this is another edition of Drunk Vegan Taste Test. My laptop has been in the shop for two months because they're waiting for some weird hinge thing. So this is, um, wait, what was the question? Oh, so I'm filming on a new laptop. And I feel like the camera's slow, but that looks good for Halloween. I don't know, maybe I should just, like, ask you guys what I should buy. Because I feel like all my videos are weird. Because I buy weird shit. But yeah. This is, um, a Halloween edition of Drunk Vegan Taste Test. Um. <gasps> we're still social distancing, and I didn't want to have to film, like, in two different locations. So it's just me this time. I know... Halloween, I've never been alone, but you've seen me do drug vegan taste tests alone before, and I'm only trying two things, so don't worry. So this is from, um, Adventure Time, which only has one episode on Hulu Plus. The smoking a little weed. I have a medical card because I randomly get shooting pains in my body, and I got drunk from wine. It's, um, Frey, um, table wine, red. Yeah, I, I drink table wine. Alright, so Alex Xander's, because that's my drag name, its first snack is, um, Sensible Portion. Wait, is that their name? What the fuck is their name? Oh, veggie, veggie, good, maybe? That's, it says to add them at veggie, veggie, good. Fuck you. Yeah. Okay, so garden veggie chips. And these are bats and ghosts. So these veggie chips. So, so these veggie chips are supposed to look like bats and ghosts. I feel like most people give out candy, so I'm trying to give out chips this year. Oh, I ripped them. <laughs> so here's a ghost. Oh no, is this a fucking bat? So here's a fucking bat. YouTube asked if my last video is for kids. I had to put no. It tastes like a Pringo, but less weird. That was like a tomato bat, and this is a spinach ghost. Hmm. Salty, but good. Oh shit. Seventy calories per bag. Six percent calcium. Okay, so spinach bat. Tomato bat. This is a tomato ghost, but it looks white on camera. Hmm. Hmm. Garden veggie chips. These are really good. Is that the brand name, though? This is such a confusing package. Like fucking damn. I think it is called garden veggie chips. And they're gluten free. And they're vegan. It says the word vegan here. But I don't know how to edit on this laptop, so it's just belief. Oh shit, I spilled some of the chips. So, shit. So these are like, honestly, I'm gonna give these like a fucking nine. 
just because there's three flavors. There's tomato, potato, and spinach. But only two shapes. These are so good drunk. So Yeah, definitely a freaking nine. It was good. I give them a ten if there were three shapes. Like maybe they, because there's a bat and a ghost. There could have been like a pumpkin or a turn up, because that's what they originally like. Fucking like for jack o' lanterns. This is supposed to go from normal family to scary when you change your head. But it only goes to normal on the camera. But I think it still looks creepy because they're so fucking old. Like, yeah. I don't really like alcohol anymore, but I normally drink wine or fucking... Or seltzer water or um, mixed with, like, with vodka. Oh, and these are with sea salt and they're GMO-free. So maybe nine and a half since my friend society could do half points. Yeah, so that was good. And now for the made good chocolate chip granola bars. These are free of the top uh, fucking, I want to say 10 allergens, but let me count. They're free of peanuts, tree nuts, wheat and gluten, which I guess they're counting as two shits. Soy. Dairy. Eggs. Sesame seeds. Selfish. See, I forgot to count. <laughs> but yeah. These look good. I always try to give out one thing that's allergenic, like hyperallergenic, that's free of allergens. And look how small it is. It's only 50 calories. How cute. Thank you, Made Good. And it's agave nectar instead of sugar, so I think if you're diabetic, you could have it. Fucking... 4% iron for this little bar. That is so impressive. And look how cute the fox is. I'm gonna eat one, yeah. Yummy, yummy, gonna eat one, yeah. Put it into my tummy. Oh, and it says vegan on the wrapper. Good. Get that word out there. USDA approved organic. Ooh, ooh. Jake the dog and then the human. Alright, let's try this. It needs nuts, but the point is to be free of nuts. More for texture. So this shirt is fucking from a Wave Magnetic concert virtually with this girl, Sandra Smalls. He's this artist from Brooklyn, but I think he lives in Jersey, and he's really good. Anyway. So these are nine. Also, even though I know they can't put nuts in the hyperallergenic shit. I mean, maybe I don't need to say the word hyper. Hypo. But you know, damn. I actually did some contour to look more like a dude. No, I'm not here to tell. But, um, these are nine. They're quite tasty. I like them. But, um, everything else I'm handing out this year, I think I've handed out before, so I'm not going to taste it. So it's just the two edition episode. And thank you for watching this, this, and this. This edition of Drunk Vegan Taste Test. My name's Alex the Xander, aka, which is also known as Jake the Dog.
also known as Alessandra. And I wish you a happy and safe Halloween. Um, wear a mask. <laughs> Bye!